వెల్కమ్ టు సక్సెస్ స్టోరీ నేను రమ్మ మండవ ఈరోజు మన స్టూడియోలో డాక్టర్ పద్మద సురేష్ గారు ఉన్నారు ఆమె ఏదైతే డిఫరెంట్ డ్యాన్స్ ఫామ్స్ లో ఈ రోజున ఈ స్థాయికి వచ్చారు అమ్మ దేశవ్యాప్తంగా కూడా పలు చోట్ల ప్రదర్శనలు ఇవ్వడమే కాదు అదేవిధంగా పలు విదేశాల్లో కూడా ఆమె చాలా ప్రదర్శనలు ఇస్తూ ఈ రోజు ఈ రోజు ఈ స్థాయికి వచ్చారమ్మ అదేవిధంగా ఈ రోజు హైదరాబాద్ లో కూడా స్పెషల్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ లో సిలికానంద తరఫున పాల్గొనడానికి కూడా ఆమె చేయడం జరిగింది సో పలు అవార్డులకు ఇప్పటికే ఆమె కేరళ ప్రభుత్వం నుంచి కూడా కళాశ్రీ అవార్డు కూడా అందుకున్నారు పలు అవార్డులు కూడా ఆమె నామినేట్ అయి ఉన్నారు పద్మ అవార్డ్స్ సైతం సో మనతో పాటు ఆమె ఈ రోజు మన స్టూడియోకి రావడం కూడా మనకు గర్వకారణం ఆమెతో మనం మాట్లాడదాం మేడం నమస్తే మేడం నమస్తే రమణ బిఫోర్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు నో అబౌట్ యువర్ సక్సెస్ అండ్ దెన్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు నో అబౌట్ యువర్ చైల్డ్హుడ్ వాట్ అబౌట్ యువర్ చైల్డ్హుడ్ ఐ వాస్ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్ టు భరతనాట్యం అట్ అ టెండర్ ఏజ్ ఆఫ్ ఫోర్ ఇయర్స్ బికాస్ మై ఫాదర్ వాజ్ అ వెరీ వెల్ నోన్ ఎక్స్పోనెంట్ ఆఫ్ చాక్కి ఆర్ కూత్ సో మీ అండ్ మై సిస్టర్ స్టార్టెడ్ లర్నింగ్ ఇన్ ముంబై అండర్ కళామండలం రాజలక్ష్మి టీచర్ and uh, as a typical child it was always half interest you know playing around and very good in uh, academics i was always aiming for first rank so that was more prominent later on i shifted to uh, guru kalyan sundaram of rajarajeshwari kala mandir because uh, rajalakshmi teacher had to shift her base and guruji has been one of the most senior teachers in the Tanjavur Bani. Okay. So that was very strongly embedded in me for more than 16-17 years. Then I had shifted to uh, Bangalore to make that my permanent address. But from childhood I was always taking part in several competitions and in college also won the university gold medals several times, represented uh, through the university at many places and with my guru I was a prominent member of his troupe. I also had a chance other than Bharatanatyam to learn Kathakali and also perform uh, 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 Autumn Tullal as a youngster okay. in uh, Bombay. So childhood was always filled with a lot of cultural activities. at the same time hey, you are interested in uh, education field na huh? but uh, your parents pressure you are telling uh, no uh, my parents also come into this field especially parents also wanted me to perhaps do my ias because i was a very good student but i could never imagine myself in such a job because i was so creatively inclined so after my commerce uh, i did my law also okay and uh, by then i had shifted base to bangalore and i was already performing a great deal with guru and independently as a, uh, as an upcoming artist and so then i never found uh, any other career except dance career as a spontaneous choice in my life and you balancing na both these yes, education father and father also dance. encouraged uh, my artistic career a great deal and my mother as well and fortunately my new life in bangalore with family they also have supported so i could balance uh, both family and this uh, dance career pretty well so and uh, your passion uh, dominate na should dominate the uh, education absolutely but i think that the fact that i'm academically inclined showed up later because i did my phd masters and phd a little later after my children also grew up and uh, that has been a most fascinating journey because from a dancer to a teacher to a choreographer to a researcher and all these aspects touch your life my whole talent yes <laughs> now what's your father impact on your life especially my father's impact my father being an artist could understand the passion and he always felt that art makes you very fulfilled okay. and you work from the heart and not your belly okay. so everything if you do that the the the, the, the lords whomever you are propagating through your art will take care of your other requirements in life and so far that has been uh, the the case because i have never weighed the commercial aspect in life i always wanted to give it the best shot going out of way performing wherever possible traveling far and wide going to spiritual organizations Especially in devotional aspects yes and also teaching children who can't afford even one penny for dance because i always felt as a child going in local trains in mumbai i found so many children with great talent singing and putting the thalam and i used to wonder 
and who is going to pay fees to make them learn. So when I got an opportunity and after representing the country for programs abroad through the government, I felt somewhere I have to give back to society. So with the Atmalaya Institution through schemes called Kala Chaitanya, we, myself and my senior students have been able to reach across to thousands of children not only in rural Karnataka, but some parts of Maharashtra, some parts of uh, Bilaspur, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Kashmir, Leh Ladakh, wherever there were children and organizations, NGOs invited And you are adding social concern to your field. That is what I feel that this has to be socially relevant. We can't keep it as an elitist art only for the privileged and the well of children. It has to reach every part of the country. Only then there will be more value-based education also through the arts. Exactly. What's your mother's wish? My mother, before she passed away, always was, uh, you know, she, she recently, last 2021. But I realized that she has always been proud of the children's achievements, though they never tell you on the face, isn't it? So my mother said that as you are balancing a good family life, the value that you bring to your children, never forget that you're a mother of also the two, two boys that you have to raise up, bring them up with good values take care of your husband's family also very well see that there are no complaints you from this you brought up like tomboy no not really as, as a child yes i was the youngest so that tomboyish face i think was there you want to fight and you want to see equality but then later when you become you know a mother and a dancer and you see that all are balanced you're proud to be a woman. You don't want to compete with men because you know that women are much stronger. Mentally women, and physically. Yes, physically I, I cannot say, but emotionally yes, intuitively yes. yes. And it's the women who are the backbone of families. So my mother saw that dream in me. And uh, of course, uh, the award, uh, the government award of Karnataka came just as she was in her last days. So I think somewhere the blessings of the elders and gurus, my guru has been also very supportive, the dance guru, Guru Kalyan Sundaram. So and uh, the opportunity that, you know, life gives you, you should be able to take them without ruthlessly being ambitious, take them, share with them with others and you will find a far far more vision in your life. That's you what have I any siblings? I have a brother who is a judge in Bombay High Court now and my sister who used to be a dancer now she helps me with anchoring my performances. And then um, you, know, you told, you told na, your father had a movie background. Na. So you don't interested in that field? My father was uh, acting in Malayalam movies and theater and we did as children act in a couple of movies where he was there as small child stars, myself and my siblings. But uh, later on when the opportunities came to me from the Tamil film industry, I had to weigh the pros and cons because I was a very good student and I wanted to study much further. And somewhere in my, my mind and my mother's mind, there was a fear that I will not be able to take up a smooth family life later. So that is why I opted not for it. But as I'm growing older, I would definitely want to perhaps do something where there is a supporting actress role or something like a character actress and something with dance uh, in that uh, theme. I am certainly interested that one fine day I will get a chance to work on that. But there are well. different forms, no? In Kerala, Kerala, from Kerala background or Karnataka background. But you are interested in Kuchipudi, no? Why it I is so? I am interested in, Bhar I am uh, practicing Bharatanatyam, but Kuchipudi definitely is a, a part of the university where I am working right now and a lot of good friends are in the same field and we have been able to, through Atmalaya, give awards to Kuchipudi senior artists okay. from uh, Kuchipudi village and different parts of um, you know this state. So uh, I have been exposed to Kuchipudi a lot and Kuchipudi Bharatanatyam have yes. close similarities. But uh, at the same time, I am not practicing anything except Bharatanatyam because one life is not enough mm -hmm. to do even one art form correctly. So I, I don't believe in doing 10 and 15 at the same time.
how did you uh, form that uh, Atmalaya Institute? So Atmalaya, the name itself says it works with the soul. I always felt that uh, children should be guided to discover themselves. So in our institution, we are not spoon feeding children. We are just giving them uh, good grounded training in the Tanjavur Bani of Nirta Abhinaya and uh, that's how the pedagogy, the teaching starts. Is there any specific meaning for that Atmalaya? Atma and Laya. Atma is the soul yeah. and Laya is that uh, rhythm inside us, the Anahata yeah. Dhvani, which keeps all the time ringing in you, me, in every part of nature. So that resonance from there on, from that sound resonance, the whole world has come in. So the, the whole art is an expression of the soul and that is why it doesn't die you know in spite of the English invasions or however you say our society has changed what was two and a half thousand years ago from Bharata Muni till now we still have the purity because of the Atma in it exactly it's your baby no yes I, you can say Atmalaya is mine it was earlier called Kalpataru Kalavihar like a wish fulfilling tree and now we have renamed as Atmalaya. We also have a library of very good dance okay. books. And we have opening up a research section if students want. They can also apply for several state uh, related exams and join universities. And we will be giving them guidance from outside as external. Now, how many students are there? At the moment, fixed are somewhere around 50. And uh, we keep going for workshops, as I said, through government schools, corporation schools. So we, myself and my team, keep doing rounds all the time and once they complete an arangetram we don't make it compulsory only if they are serious about taking it as a future we give take them to that stage then they are also encouraged to start teaching slowly then they start learning natuvangam they start learning choreography and then we encourage them to build up a career side by side but many students are there madam to to they wish to enter into this field yeah. but uh, financial inabilities are there no so that is the reason why Atmalaya has given the scheme of Kala Chaitanya. So we have children who have been learning totally free from us or for a very small paltry sum of 50 rupees per oh. month. So that is how we have made it open so that if the girl is really talented and the parents are genuinely not able to afford, I am always available for them. This is known Definitely in my own circles, in the state also, many people still call us from different NGOs and say, you know, through virtual classes, how we can also train children who are far away. So I felt that Bharatanatyam and such art forms should not be restricted to children who can afford only. We have to throw it open to everybody. The government also initiating, no? So through the Ministry of Culture, Atmalaya for performances and such, uh, yeah. uh, you know, we have a salary coming for staff, which is for doing performances, which will be a small amount, but still good enough to keep that motivation on. But at the same time, schemes like teaching only government schools and are not open per se as a regular feature. We have to do it as an add on. But for us, that has been a regular feature. So we don't expect directly grants from the ministry. Those who are really wanting to give free service, such children only, such uh, students only, I'm taking in. Because, you know, only then you can balance in the long run. If you are not going to get a payroll at the end of the month, you can't come and question. So your passion for sharing the arts should be higher than your regard for the monthly salary. So according to me, that is most important. So that is why in the long run, there are a few girls whom I've identified who are already getting something side by side through other careers. But performance should be more expensive, no? So performances also, as you are saying, arangetrams are expensive. Mm -hmm. It has become like that, like a trade in many, many parts of the country. So we have kept that option through the local uh, academy. We were able to put up a girl for an arangetram with support from musicians whom the academy paid. And I could raise, you know, for this girl, she was also featured in some channels like yours uh, when she did her Arangetram completely from a government school and uh, the well-off children's parents supported her costumes and her jewellery. So you make, between children, you make them sensitive to each other. That is my goal. And your people coordinate with them. 
yeah that is how we are making it possible because even musicians should not complain to us so we have to talk it out to them that you know if you do this program another program you will be able to balance this but do not think that just because someone from america did say, you know spend so many lakhs you cannot expect everyone in our own country to do that so that benchmark we have to we have to shift certain choices among the musicians also if we are trying our best to make them sensitive so so far people when they come to me they listen because i'm they know that i am also with that genuine passion only i'm doing it you know there is it's very transparent it is not that you want to do something at cheating them so as long as your intentions are straight rama i'm sure there should be no hassles or no ob- obstacles to this Yeah, are you picking the students from rural backgrounds also, ma'am? That is what I'm saying. So we have had children from the government schools alone. We have had three girls who have passed out and are also teaching in various schools themselves. Okay. And rural areas, we visit and we do these workshops. So from there, they cannot come all the way to city unless you know they grow up older and they have some other occupation and come. But it is my intention. I want to write such proposals, whereas where the you know later on we have bigger initiatives where so many children, such children are there in various rural pockets, and India is still a land of rural areas, right? We have to understand the the main big cities like Hyderabad, the Chennai, Delhi, Bangalore, such cities. have the cream you know going up on stage and flourishing but at the end of the day we are only trying to make a difference among our few hundreds and thousands if you want to make a real difference you have to shift from the city to the smaller towns to the rural areas then we can keep the art flourishing in the true sense because this art has begun from such places if you say tanjore it has come from those villages you see that everyone has a right to learn it so somehow that entire uh, attitude of keeping you know only for sabha or so called big big places should shift gurus should make a collective decision to contribute to india on a general basis no, it's been commercialized and commercialized commercialized ma'am so is, is it possible right now ma'am what yeah. see i am telling you yes i have to we have made a beginning already 10 12 years ago we have touched hearts we have made some difference people know in some pockets and i know people are also emulating the same thing and i tell them that none of us are permanent we are here for a small bit of time right all of us we know corona has taught us the worst lesson that we know nothing is permanent yeah. at the same time after me what the art has to continue it's not about me and so and so making an impact it's about how many people you can make them as followers it's immortal na no? yeah this is an is an art for a lifetime make them churn out their values i always say that such good values because natya was created when when the values deteriorated during the treta yuga the natya shastra says that that is when it started so dharma is important so dharma artha kama moksha this is the objective of natya so if that is primary in you society itself can completely transform you can bring up like a pandava sena people who are willing to keep up the values and with modern education with the dance you will be the great ambassadors for the country it is soft power we have to develop that and among the girls also along with all the other modern education if you bring in arts they will have a perfect health they'll be able to balance the two career and home and become the true bharatiya naris <laughs> exactly madam exactly then what's uh, what's your uh, government support government support is come right now with this with this so called recognition that i received from karnataka they understood yes they have been um, uh, you know there was a little bit of resistance earlier as i told you i am not calling myself uh, either a tamilian or a malayali mm. or a telugu or a kannada i'm calling myself an indian primarily and, and then basically is, artist yeah mm. and uh, the fact was i i belong to a tamil background but it is a part of kerala 
and uh, I was raised in Bombay and I live in um, uh, Bangalore and have been traveling so much. Mm. So it is across the India. Yeah, not and not and about India. 32 not countries to rare countries also I got an opportunity, God's grace, like Israel and China at that yeah. time with my guru and uh, some parts of East Europe like Latvia or Hungary and Baltic nations where they haven't seen much of the art. Okay. So I feel that, you know, as an artist belongs to the whole world, you cannot have a barrier of religion or language or anything else. But the uniform I will protect. I will not write. I teach a lot of children from different parts, different backgrounds. But I tell them just like a soldier is supposed to wear a uniform, you should wear the Bharatanatyam uniform properly with your potu, with your flowers and all this has a meaning. My study in my doctorate study was also about the inner subtle body, the subtle koshas. So when we wear something, there is a deeper meaning. So don't compromise on that. It's a devotional aspect, no? Devotion and the truth, the true, uh, uh, the tradition has a stamp. It has come from the temples. You should not forget that it is evolved exactly. from the temples of India. So that much purity you should maintain and with that form, the content, you can have different stories, different themes. So that way we have been able to showcase the art properly. And I've had a chance to face a lot of young students in several universities throughout, especially like even West Coast of USA, including Stanford and such universities. So when you go and speak to children, you project the Indian culture, culture Indian religion, because Hinduism is not a dogmatic religion. It is Sanatana Dharma. Yeah. And by the nature, it is secular. You don't have to change the art to call it secular. Because it is reaching across to people because it is grounded in the Vedas. So keeping that purity, you should know to bring that old art relevant to the modern time, bring a change in society that has been for the better and bring people together. When I had a chance to talk in the parliament of world religions, then some world Sanskrit conferences, such platforms where you get a chance to tell people that the art is beyond any division. It is universal brotherhood, universal peace, love, harmony. I should mean it truly. Only then my dance will promote or project that. Isn't it? You have to talk from inside whatever you say only then you are a true representative of that your dance should uh, speaks no exactly so whenever i give a lot of lectures also i keep a demonstration of 20 minutes okay and then after the performance people come and say this energy is connecting to us now we know what you are talking what is the meaning of all these mudras why is it therapeutic because it is connecting all the nadis there is so much value in the art the sages have brought it down, yeah. right? So that you should always remember, I tell my students. Yes. Medical terminology and uh, science. Everything goes together yeah. because it is grounded in Indian Vedic system. So it is Anadi Ananta. And then how many, in how many countries you did that program? I have gone to about 32 nations. I think it's a small number because there are so many countries in the world. And 32 is not a small number. Because there are so many uh, countries, I still feel that if the Lord opens up the doorways, I will be able to go and uh, present this, share, speak about our uh, Sanatana Dharma through the art. So I think I started uh, when my guru took us first to the small neighbor that we have as Nepal. And then after that, it has been a never ending, uh, especially after I shifted to Bangalore, it has been at least one or two tours every year. Some countries repeatedly going back and forth for workshops and such things. Otherwise, uh, visits to uh, as far as the, all the continents, I think, except Africa, I would like to do that shortly. <laughs> <laughs> Your wish will come true. Thank you so much. <laughs> and then, madam, uh, you are saying about Tantra, no? Yes. Uh, that's a new form, no? Your experimental form. That so, Tantra means um, anything that is a scientific technique is called a Tantra. Now, for example, if you ask even a cameraman or something, what is the Tantra behind? What is the craft behind how you are shooting it? So it's a scientific way of doing something. And you are introducing yourself, no? That one. So, my 
पीएचडी वाज ऑन साइंस ऑफ तंत्र अच्छा एंड आर्ट ऑफ नाट्य को रिलेशन आई एम ट्राइंग टू ब्रिज and no be make make people understand that tantra is not a uh, taboo term because yeah. slowly over the years yeah. people said it's black magic black magic it's no? like mm. that it is nothing but white magic i tell them what we through the through the dance there is a science in it the bhava the vibhava the anubhava sanchari bhava bharata has given a proper scientific way of doing it there is an alchemy there is a proper admixture because of which the artist is actually propelled she is trained to use her body and the mind to go beyond the body and mind and touch that atman okay in me in the rasika that is why you feel aha how beautiful the program was sometimes you watch a movie and you go back home and you've cried in the movie but you're happy that you've cried isn't yeah. it mm-hmm. so that should be the rasa transcendence that's happening because of the tantra okay. no mm. that is the magic of the art which is there from that ancient time to now is because of this energy tantra is the energy that mm. is tapped. actually that sounds uh, uh tells black magic about black magic in especially in our novels and movies and, yeah, like, and all these that but. is the uh, the wrong mis uh, connotation see if your energy for example if you put your finger inside a socket you may get a shock exactly whereas you can use it for positive purpose so they are it is when there is a mantra there is a yantra in the dance also we are using the sound syllable Yeah. we are using the song yeah. we are using the body to be able to communicate so there is a tantric aspect in it like a deity whom the priest is giving the mantra and the and the deity like tirupati balaji or whoever the deity becomes powerful because the priest is giving the prana pratishta some energy the mm, same energy. way we are giving to ourselves through the dance through the mudras the temple dancers used to even do the worship behind the curtain then they will come out so there is a deeper meaning in everything that we do so that is the tantric connections that i am trying to bring out through the dance and uh, there is chakra inside you right from the muladhara chakra to the sahasrara chakra how the energy is rising when you are dancing without your purposely thinking about it in yoga and all they will say i should breathe like this 1000 times saying it inbuilt no this is spontaneous tantric yeah. aspect so that is rasa rasa's the beauty of bringing about rasa through bhava is a tantric enterprise so that was my phd subject and i have been writing a lot on this topic i have been giving my lectures basically on this topic shurin swishna now that one is atmalaya uh-huh. so in atmali also the students also are given ideas about such concepts you know so that they will be able to explore these themes later so i tell them how to go from the body to the mind to the spirit and are in you introducing art. in these in your institute also these yeah, one yeah, yeah yeah all my dance choreographies will have a little bit of the real thinking aspect intellectual aspect and then only not for everyone but some children who can understand the deeper aspect isn't it for children and all you can't introduce when they are going seriously after many years we can bring them you into saying it. you uh, dance with mind not with the not just the not, not just the entertainment it is entertainment also but it is mainly so, educative it is enlightening and entertaining i don't know you getting award na Uh, just, from Kerala government or Bangalore government? Ah, uh, Bangalore government already the award function got over okay. two months ago. Uh, which, which award you got, ma'am? Karnataka, Karnataka Kalash. Okay, and then you are nominated now already for for Padma Award. That was yes, a few nominations came through. I came to know because they all asked me my information, but uh, I don't think uh, anything will, uh, you know. make any difference after a while you know that is only few days you will feel happy and then life goes on and on isn't it you have to like krishna says in bhagavad gita keep doing your work phala in different forms will come what is the highest phala is your your own sakshi your manasa sakshi you no know? conscience tells you where you are 
that is the ultimate blessing you get sometimes some children come and give me a rose on the door on the road from a government school ma'am that will cherish morning. no immediately i feel so happy so some audience comes and says ma'am i didn't see you i saw some other power there that gives you a higher fulfillment the rest of the awards for the material world will come will not go my aim is to touch grace if your aim is grace glamour may come and go <laughs> but if your aim is glamour your grace will never be yours <laughs> so you should decide what you want <laughs> hmm we saw that one in sagar sangam movie you know telugu k vishnu directed by k vishnu na no? exactly you uh. said it correctly uh. <laughs> so that uh, higher spirit if you have rest all will be very small <laughs> soul satisfaction na that one correct uh, then uh, how you getting association with uh, silicon andhra ma'am so silicon andhra came uh, cup about uh, say about close to a year back okay. and i am now assistant professor bharatanatyam okay. it's a very good university i feel for the arts and the basis in california and hyderabad is their uh, office in india so we have virtual classes for uh, masters in bharatanatyam which i am handling uh, uh, one course at the moment the world, throughout the world or they are mainly students from the usa yes. and there are a few students from other parts of the world also so we teach them online basically and a good lot of uh, dancers uh, good artists are involved in it they have um, telugu they have sanskrit kuchpudi bharatanatyam carnatic music now they started hindustani music so it's the indians in california who have felt the need to connect to india through this by expanding the scope of their being there you have any friends here uh, in your field especially uh, dance dancers from the kuchpudi field they're all uh, in good contact with me in hyderabad i have few families also who are distantly related and hyderabad is a very vibrant state and i have uh, loved to come here in the past with my family to ramoji fulam city and all those places and also some temples from here like renuka and uh, is it renuka mata renuka ellamma yeah, 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 temple ellamma yeah, yeah. temple so i have gone from here for uh, those places i still want to go to pithapuram and all those yes. temples next time when i am coming back to and i am a sai follower and i know there's a big community of sai worshipers uh, in uh, andhra also so <laughs> are you aware of these all dance forms madam mohini attam and perini I'm, and then bharatanatyam yes i am aware of that i've had academic knowledge and some bit in my choreographies i've used but as a profess uh, professional you already had experience in those forms yes but not as a performer except in bharatanatyam for a long sustained period I have kept myself true to only Bharatanatyam. Okay. What's your message uh, to this uh, tenure students, madam? This uh, generation students. I am telling them that not to be in a hurry, because um, they should have patience to work on themselves. Because the art gives you an opportunity to hone your own skills, your body, your mind, connect with the deeper Atma, the self. So small, small. things you know social media too much of uh, putting teasers here and there or trailers that's not the real thing you know you have to work perform 2 hours like those the sounds the make mark. many things <laughs> you have to you have to raise the benchmark yes. to that and 2 hours of good performance come to this come back to stage to the live performance as things open up and it takes years to master it and it's a lifetime mission and they should have the guru shishya parampara you can't take it like a cafeteria one cup here one from there and then mix everything no the art has a relevance of this parampara guru shishya and the prayoga and they can take up academic studies like they have to do they can do a bachelor's and a master's in these arts and a phd later so later on they will be able to utilize this to be our ambassadors world over and there is no patience at all for these gen- generations because just every everything is today being given very fast and at the fingertip you are able to cut paste and make your own uh, what is your own at the end of the day see i am finding my own videos 
sold at such a paltry sum from internet archive i mean from some uh, doordarshan archives on the internet and i'm surprised that you know people are there to just and their projects but this is not long lasting the purpose of natya is what dharma artha kama moksha you should remember that there is a higher purpose these small things will not last for long so that uh, don't get lost in these kind of attractions very fair of you work for the higher for the longer thing dedication is important even today i have to practice two hours or else i feel are like, you what have i done i have to keep myself fit to for me every program is an exam even now last week i was in chandigarh to give a program next week i'm performing in kur get a very famous temple and this morning before i traveled i got up and i saw that i practice because okay. otherwise okay, every day you are student no see you are you you have to continue to be critical of yourself that is because your gurus have brought in that and this is a very age old thing you should have that respect for it isn't it no shortcut it's a god gift no god's gift and how you practicing yes how you are going to utilize the god's gift and make it like a lifetime mission lifetime pursuit actually madam in this especially in these art forms like kuchpudi bharatanatyam whatever it may actually your expressions and your attitude huh very uh, much ha huh, they they are very much familiar you know every minute thing will be counted correct then ela uh, meer how, how can it possible so that is why you need a good guru no to be able to it's like you're taking a clay and in that clay you're molding you're giving the clay that form so that's what the guru can hone right from the way you see the way the way you think the abhinaya can come only if you feel mm. correct and that devotion should come from the heart so somewhere even when you go back to the family you how the family upbringing also counts if it is not the way you want at least the guru should contribute that much to that only then the expression comes hey, out there is a well. need of essential uh, minute concentration na huh? very severe ah. concentration it is yoga that is why it is called paravidya or yoga or tantra or whatever is because your mind is completely in focus if i am doing draupadi i cannot be padmaja anymore i have to go into the character parakaya pravesha so you are getting into the costume you are getting into a character you are getting the consciousness of that character and the moment the audience sees i have not seen rama or krishna you have not seen the real rama krishna audience has not seen but the magic is the moment there is so even your great hero anti rama rao the moment he stands there you feel oh rama has come from where so that is what is the power of the art that is a real art na no? the art has been churned in such a way that the aharya abhinaya angika abhinaya satvika abhinaya vachika abhinaya all this together gives you the feeling of the real consciousness even your attitude will be count today's generation has to realize that i am telling them light a lamp at home see the photograph see krishna's photograph see how the painter has given see how the sculpture is standing so only then you no know, you are nothing but sculpture and poetry in motion how you are moving out so you have to observe these things simply you know uh, learning for the sake of it is not at all it's a waste of time and money and they were saying you light light the lamp in your heart before you light them in the temple right? exactly so it's it's like chit ambaram everything is inside our heart you have to get that you know every moment i have to am i great punya i got this birth as a dance because some good work merit has happened in last yes, birth it's god gift because you are going not to swarga loka bharata says you go to brahma loka mm. that is the height of the uh, power of it but that guru should instill that we should it is not ego thing of me and no 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 you have to first sublimate your ego that complete humility should come only then it is a yoga for highest spiritual bliss are you satisfied what you achieved till now i am praying to god every now and then that please correct me when i go wrong i keep in my heart the lord 
Chidambaram, Nadraja is all the time dancing in my heart. So the inspiration comes from within. And that every moment I'm remembering that presence of the divine in me, it is that which is coming as the dancer. You know, how much ever I practice, that moment what comes is the divine's blessing. Even for teaching. If the people tell me, Madam, I want this, 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 ten classes, I'll say, I won't even touch you. I should feel that divinity. For that, the student should come down as a raw spiritual being. That Guru, do something, I will do it. Just because you give a check, I will not move. So much principles, so far, the Lord has given. Let me continue the same way. Say about few words uh, about your success. I think I owe it to everybody, my parents, my gurus, my family. I think Padmaja has done nothing personally. I think we should remember that even if I have to make one step, everything has to be perfect, only then that can be done. So I'm thanking the stars, thanking the people around for making me work. <laughs> it's not about me. <laughs> What's your family initiation behind your success? I think I've had a very supportive or a silently supportive rock solid husband okay. who has never felt uh, insecure, who has never stopped me. And my children are also involved in the art. Both the sons are very good musicians. So all that keeps me you know, happy that they're also taking it along with modern education, like one is doing doctorate, one is doing also something along with that. So those are the promises and I have been able to so far deliver roles, various roles as daughter-in-law, sister-in-laws and my uh, family. So all this is a drama of life, world drama. Drama on stage, drama off stage. On stage also Bharata says, so many rasas come, we understand that there is a shantam. Yeah. Okay, only because there is a shantam, we know that Bharata's Ashtarasas are happening on stage. That same shantam you maintain off stage, you will know that one scene will become an act, the act will become a play, and each, you know, keeps on changing every morning, every evening. Right? So if you look as a witness of everything, you will know how to deliver with detached attachment. Detached attachment. So then only you can do multiple roles. <laughs> There is no ferocious moment na, in your life, Purpose, angry moment, purposeful. Purposely sometimes I have to because then things won't move, you know. So that drama you have to play yeah. every now and then. <laughs> but this is original drama. <laughs> <laughs> so originality is yeah. Aham Brahmasmi, yeah. Aham Brahmasmi, Tattva Masi. This is the truth. But to understand that truth, we cannot sit quietly, you know, and Aham Brahmasmi, like in a cave, even mm. Ramakrishna Paramahamsa told Vivekananda, go and do this, yes. show to the world. So that is why you have to act this worldly drama every day. But you should know before and in the end, that silent, that Atman is me, you, everywhere. That silence you should have, that, that much time you should give for meditating. Meditation, dynamic meditation is dance, but static meditation is also important. So I look at Nadarajar and Dakshinamurti, the silent guru. So both this is important. The Raja who is always trying to win battles and the Rishi who is silently observing what the Raja is doing. To guide, na? To so guide in, Raja. in us, the two, we should keep it intact in balance. Then this drama will go on without any problem. Do you, you made a you want to make a path? I I it's not about me, Rama. The path is just coming every day. I am calling myself a zero. I'm telling Amma Ambal Ambal Lalita Ambika. She will fill it with new purposes. Right, madam. And then uh, any aspirations or ambitions in your life? Take it every moment I feel uh, this moment is precious for me. This moment is, is all, all that I cherish. The future will become its own. <laughs> I think time itself is a very big myth. So think of the moment, that's all. 
ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग मैडम नमस्कार इवी डॉक्टर पद्मजा सुरेश गरी अभी प्रायलु आम डांस फॉर्म्स गुरिंची आदेव दंगा तान समस्त आत्मलाय गुरिंची आदेव दंगा आम देश व्याप्त दंगा ने कादू विदेश आलो सहित में एव दंगा आम प्रदर्शन लिस्टो नरु स्टूडेंट्स ने एव दंग Please share, like and subscribe R24 Telugu.